All right, let me tell you guys something. All right, so most of you guys, most guys, all right, in general, you can't get where you're going because you don't know where it is. I know this sounds like some pretty basic advice, but hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you some ways to figure this out to actually achieve what you want in life. So I've talked to a lot of guys. I know that a lot of you guys watching this video that you know that you're the one that's holding you back from accomplishing the things that you want in life. You know it's not someone else, all right? A lot of you have gotten rid of the victim mindset and you understand that the problem is you. However, what are you actually doing about it? How are you actually changing? Now, you might be saying, well, I'm watching some videos and I'm reading books and I'm trying to go to the gym more and work out and I'm trying to improve myself. However, that's not good enough. I need you to understand that that is not enough in order for you to actually make drastic changes in your life to have the kind of transformation that you want to have in your life. What it is going to require is that you set some concrete goals, that you specifically set some objectives that you're going to accomplish, then you go after those things, right? So, for example, let's say that you go and you sit down to play a video game, all right? Maybe your fa favorite video game or whatever, you know, you get a new game or something like that. When you go to play that game, you don't just sit there and play the game, right? I mean, maybe there's some games where, where you do that, but even in a game where you just sit there and play the game, you have some objective, you have some kind of goal. Most games have levels and bosses or things that you want to do in order to accomplish the goal in order to beat the game, right? So that's what you do when you sit down to play that game. Now, imagine if there was a game, and, and there's I know there's some open world games and, and things like that, but imagine a game that had no objectives at all, right? Where you just could do whatever you wanted to do, and there was no accomplishments. There was nothing that you're trying to go after, right? I mean, there are some games that are similar to that, but in those games, what you'll find, uh, for example, one of those that I played was, what is that game now with the urn tree? <laughs> Why am I going to remember the, like the most famous game? I can't think of the name of it now. I have to look it up now because I'll just search urn tree. <laughs> It'll come right up. Uh, Elden Ring. Okay. You know, in Elden Ring, you, you weren't really given what to do. You just go out there and, and you find what to do. But you figure out some things and then you start to form some objective objectives and you start to have some goals and you start to go after those goals. That's sort of how it works. Even if you enter a cave and in that cave, you're trying to get to the bottom of the cave, to the end of the cave. You're trying to find your way through that. So my point is, is that you have to have some kind of objective. You have to have some kind of goal. If you don't have a goal, then you're just going to be drifting. And so you know, again, I've been coaching guys for a long time, and even in some of my higher level coaching that guys are enrolled in, I find that a lot of people aren't setting goals. And I understand that it's difficult sometimes to set goals because you want to do a bunch of different things and you want to do them all at the same time, but you got to pick something out and you got to go after that thing. Otherwise, you're just not going to make progress. And you can have multiple things that you're going after, but for example, I don't want you to just run. If you're just going to run, there's no point in that. Maybe sign up for a race and train for that race and train for a specific time that you're trying to get on that race. If you do that, you can see then how that will inform all of your training. You'll know what runs to go on and you'll be able to make some progress, right? Imagine how much that your endurance would improve by having that goal and objective instead of just running. If you're trying to make some money, you want to make some extra money, then you need to have some kind of goal around building something that's going to make you money, right? Maybe the goal is to figure out what that thing is. But if you have that as a goal, then you can, you know what the objective is. You know what you're trying to accomplish. You're trying to figure out what the thing is. Maybe if you figured out the thing, maybe it's creating a YouTube channel. So you're going to create the YouTube channel and you have some goal to grow it to so many subscribers or to get so many views per video or to produce so many videos. So you have to have these objectives. Otherwise, you're not going to make progress. It's not just going to happen to you. If it's even within dating or relationships, you got to figure out what is it that you're trying to accomplish? What is the thing that you want to do in that area and set some kind of goal or objective around it? Now, I have a framework for setting goals, which I'm going to 
lay out for you very simply. You may have heard me talk about this before, but it's called the GAP framework, and it stands for Goal Aspiration Process. And it's very simple. The, the very basics of this, uh, I will give you in a second. But before I do, if you're not even sure where to start and you want to improve yourself and transform yourself, I've got a link down below for a bulldog quiz. If you haven't ever taken this bulldog quiz, jump on there and take the bulldog quiz and see what your bulldog score is. From there, I'll give you some advice on how to improve that score and tell you exactly what uh, that score means. But I've got just 10 questions there. It will give you a score from zero to 100 and tell you where you need to improve. All right, now, with that gap process, it, it's real simple. The first thing is that you have what I call an aspiration. This is what most people call goals. And an aspiration is the thing that you want, right? So, for example, let's say that you want to make half a million dollars, all right? That's an aspiration. Now, if you wanted to do that this year, the, the problem with an aspiration is that you can't directly control that, right? So, uh, from the aspiration, uh, we now derive a goal. And a goal is a concrete thing to do that's in your direct control. So it means that you can accomplish it. You can do it. It's just a matter of actually taking the action. So let's take our example of wanting to make $500,000 this year. Well, if that's your aspiration, how would you even do that? It depends. Now, let's say that you're a salesperson in that you get a commission on your sales. Well, let's say you have a 20% commission on your sales. Then you know that you need to have a sales volume of what? Of $10 million in order to get $500,000, right? That's, or, yeah, or actually, uh, do I have that backwards? If you had $5 million and the 10% uh, commission, it would be 500000 So uh, it should be half of that. So you should need $2.5 million in sales. Okay, so $2.5 million in sales would net you $500,000 of commission, okay, because that's 20%. So now you could say, well, what do I need to do in order to get $2.5 million in sales? So you would know what your average sale volume is, and then you could calculate how many sales that you need. And then from there, you could calculate, well, how many calls do I need to get on or how many you know, leads do I need to have? And then you can set some numbers around that. And so you can set a goal. For example, let's say that your goal becomes to contact 4,000 leads. All right, now that's a goal. And you can do that. You can contact 4,000 leads in a year. Now you develop a process. The process is what you're gonna do on a daily or weekly basis that will ensure that you hit that goal, right? Remember, the goal's in your direct control. You can contact 4,000 leads, all right? So the process might be to contact 100 leads or 200 leads a day, whatever the math works out on that. And you might have some other things in there. But th that's that's the whole concept there, uh, breaking that down. This is something also that we go over in depth in my Well That Never Runs Dry financial freedom program. If you're interested in that, you can DM me the word YouTube on Instagram and, uh, and someone from my team will talk to you about that. But but the, the main point here is that you've got to have some kind of objective. You have to have some kind of goal. You have to have something that you're going after. And if you don't have that, you're just gonna waste your time. You're gonna, years are gonna go by and nothing's gonna happen and you're never gonna improve your life. You're never gonna get to where you wanna be, right? As soon as I have goals, I can start accomplishing those things. And it's amazing once you start to get into the habit of this because you'll knock one thing off the list and you'll knock another thing off the list. And by the time that the years pass, you'll have completed maybe 10, 15 goals, and you'll have made more progress in one year than you have in the last 10. So first, start and figure out where you're at. Click the link down below, take the Bulldog uh, quiz, see what your score is. Then set some objectives, set some actual goals, and start going after those goals.